Happy birthday, beautiful Marsha. Um, we have got birthday wishes from some people you might know from the past. Some past students want to say happy birthday. So we've got Cindy Gersberg, Susan Meislick, Valerie Weglars, Melissa Elfenbein, Anna, and then I will come back with a final note. So enjoy. Sure. Coming to you from St. Thomas. I wanted to say happy birthday. I understand you have a very special one coming up. And I wanted to say thank you for all that you did for me when I was a youngster. And you taught me how wonderful camping is. I remember very fondly camping at Bell Lake and hiking with the Sierra Club. So those are things that left a profound influence on my life and they're very special to me to this day. So wishing you a very happy and healthy birthday and love to you. Hope to see you one of these days. Take care. It's Bye -bye. Melissa Adams, nay Elfenbein. Sending all best wishes to my favorite teacher on her birthday. Sixth grade social studies was an eye opener. Mesopotamia, Samaria, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, and Buddha. And rivaling these expansive educational experiences was the unforgettable outdoors club. I have very fond memories of beautiful hikes and gorgeous waterfalls and never to be forgotten lessons on the importance of appropriate footwear. All kidding aside, these moments help shape who I am today. I have a lifelong love of the outdoors and a deep interest in contemplative practices. So what have I been doing for the last 44 years? Well, I came down to DC to go to school. I had a farm in the Shenandoah Valley for quite a while. Um, I then resumed normal lives in the suburban, uh, Northern Virginia suburban area. I've had two successful marriages, have two great sons, one beautiful daughter-in-law, and I've had a wonderful and successful career in the energy and environmental field. Uh, we go to Florida at least once a year, and I would love to reconnect um, if you have the time. But in the meantime, I wanted to say many thanks to you for your kindness, your generosity, and your deep interest in your students. And thank you and all best wishes for a great birthday. Greetings from New Jersey. Hello, Marsha Stark. This is Valerie Weglars. I was a student of yours in middle school, probably sixth grade. You were my homeroom teacher, social studies teacher, and more importantly, I signed up to be part of your outdoors club that you ran at the time. And I remember that was a big step for me because I was a pretty quiet kid and I didn't really have that many friends in school at that point. So to take a giant step to follow you into the wilds of Mohunk Mountain, Harriman State Park and some other places was really an eye opener for me. And I think you instilled in me the love of number one, the outdoors, which I still have today, but also the willingness to take chances even at that young age of being a sixth or seventh grader. So I want to wish you a very happy 70th birthday. I hope you're doing well and all good things coming to you now and in the future. Take Hi, care. Marcia. This is Sue Meislick, alumna of your sixth grade history class at New Milford Middle School in 1970. So I know that you know my parents were teachers for many years and I know when they used to run into some student of theirs many years later, they always seem so amazed to hear um, the kind of influence that they had on their students. Um, it, it just always seemed to blow them away. Um, and you were that kind of teacher. You absolutely had such an influence on me in sixth grade and um, that stayed with me for a really long time. You instilled such a love and a passion for the subject matter and a bunch of <laughs> pipsqueak 11 year olds. Um, ancient Rome, ancient Greece, man. I still remember the creativity you used to teach. We had, um, we did a Sesame Street, like a Roman Sesame Street. I so remember that. And I remember also writing a play with a classmate on Socrates and wow. It was just inspiring, and to this day, I still 
have such wonderful memories of that class. I also am really happy that years later I got to hang out with you and Liz and Nikki and kind of relate with each other in a more adult level. And I do miss you. It would be so amazing to see you again. Um, you're such a gifted teacher and a wonderful human being who I'll never forget. So happy birthday, Marsha. I hope that this birthday and the year brings you just happiness and joy and good health and lots of love because you just deserve the best of everything. So happy, happy birthday. Mwah. Marcia, uh, when I got Philip's email, he said to try to come up with a song for you. Um, well, what can I say? All those voices, all those students from the past, uh, the lives you touched, that's your song and we love you for it. As for me, you took a little girl in seventh grade and you applauded me for thinking outside of the box and you'll never know what a profound effect that had on my life. I think it set the stage for my life. Teachers, what can I say, have a profound effect. Uh, good teachers like you and good friends. Uh, the memories of you, me and mom going crazy in New York City. Um, I don't have any other friend that I was thrown out of the Museum of Modern Art uh, with but you. That would be you, Marcia. Um, so we love you. Happy birthday. Uh, thank you for touching our lives. And uh, what can I say but uh, the plot thickens. <laughs>